Many DC-DC converters are used for the power circuits of electronic devices. There are many cases where electrolytic capacitors are used for smoothing. Since the large capacitance of monolithic ceramic capacitors has been progressing, the replacement of capacitors with monolithic ceramic capacitors is also progressing. In this demonstration, a ripple waveform when an output capacitor of a DC-DC converter is replaced with a monolithic ceramic capacitor or a conductive polymer capacitor from a common capacitor is displayed on a personal computer and compared. This is a circuit diagram of a general voltage step-down type DC-DC converter. The capacitor for the smoothing output side in the figure is replaced with three types of capacitors and the ripple waveform is monitored. This is a cis cube. The cis cube consists of the main body, main board and a subboard and the capacitor to be evaluated is mounted on the subboard. Various capacitors can be evaluated by replacing the subboard. The specification of the DC-DC converter has an output voltage of 5 volts and a switching frequency of 300 kilohertz. This is the capacitor mounted on the subboard. From the left, this is a monolithic ceramic capacitor, a conductive polymer capacitor, and a common capacitor. Since three monolithic ceramic capacitors of 22 microfarads of the 1608 size are used, the total capacitance is 66 microfarads. The other two capacitors are 100 microfarads each. Now let's actually measure the ripple. Let's start with the measurement of a common capacitor. The subboard is being inserted into the main board. When the measurement button on the personal computer is pressed, the ripple will be displayed. In this case, the peak-to-peak -peak is about 50 millivolts. Next, let's take a look at a conductive polymer capacitor. The subboard is being replaced. The measurement button is being pressed. What do you think? The ripple has become considerably smaller. In this case, the peak-to-peak -peak is about 9 millivolts. The last to be measured is the monolithic ceramic capacitor. As you can see, the peak-to-peak -peak is about 14 millivolts. Although the ripple is slightly larger than a conductive polymer capacitor, it is about a quarter of a common capacitor. This graph shows the impedance of each capacitor and the frequency characteristics of the ESR. The ESR of the ceramic capacitors is about two digits lower than common capacitors. Therefore, even though the capacitance is lower, the ripple voltage can be reduced. However, since the ESR is extremely low, abnormal oscillation may occur by just replacing the capacitor. In order to suppress this oscillation, it is necessary to optimize the constant of the phase compensation circuit. Although the same capacitor is used on this board, the phase compensation circuit shown by the yellow line differs. The left side is a phase compensation circuit, the same as a common capacitor or a conductive polymer capacitor. And the right side is the optimized phase compensation circuit for a monolithic ceramic capacitor. The waveform shown previously is after optimization of the right side. Let's take a look at the waveform of the board before optimization. The board is being replaced with the unoptimized board.
When measured, can you see that the waveform is fluctuating? As you can see, abnormal oscillation occurs in some cases by just replacing a common capacitor with a monolithic ceramic capacitor. However, this problem can be solved by optimizing the constant of the phase compensation circuit. Finally, let's confirm the waveforms of the three types of capacitors once again. This time, the three waveforms are overlapped. The first measurement is of a common capacitor. Next, the capacitor is replaced with a conductive polymer capacitor. Finally, the capacitor is replaced with a monolithic ceramic capacitor. The common capacitor is shown in red, the conductive polymer capacitor in light blue, and the monolithic ceramic capacitor in yellow. I am sure that you can clearly see the merits in the characteristics of the conductive polymer capacitor and the monolithic ceramic capacitor. Finally, the merits and demerits of the electrolytic capacitor and the monolithic ceramic capacitor are summarized in the table. You may realize the merits of using ceramic capacitors other than the heightened difficulty of the phase adjustment. Please contact Murata Manufacturing if you have any intentions of replacing an output capacitor of a DC-DC converter with a monolithic ceramic capacitor. Murata will provide total support from the selection of the capacitor to proposals on the phase compensation circuit.